Hey everyone, so as you can see I'm in my old setup, I know, kind of weird, uh, but just for this video because it's kind of skin related so I like to do my skincare videos and everything like that. Also I'm going to be doing my updated skincare routine soon so um, stay tuned for that. But this video is all about a sea salt um, kind of regimen, I don't really know what to call it, a sea salt scrub um, that's really really good for breakouts and I've been using it for about a month now and I totally swear by it, it's awesome. Um, sea salt is great because it reduces the redness, it tightens your pores, it clears up your skin, uh, it even helps um, diminish the appearance of acne scarring if you have that. Um, people who are prone to a lot of breakouts and acne if you use this um, on a consistent basis, it can really, really clear up your skin. I also really like this because it's natural, it's easy to do, it has very, very minimal products that you can find around your house, um, and I really like that. So instead of splurging on expensive creams that claim to, you know, clear up your skin and everything like that, and it may not work, um, this is just a lot easier, a lot cheaper, and you can do it pretty much as much as you want. So. I totally swear by this and I hope this helps you guys if you are um, wanting to clear your breakouts before school starts. Let's go ahead and I'll show you guys what you need and how to put it together. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is a jar to put your mask in. So I just have this little travel jar that I got from Target. Um, I'm sure you can get them from any drugstore though. You can go a little bit bigger if you want to. Um, a baby food jar would work perfectly, just a small jar. Anything that you have lying around will work perfectly. And then you're going to need some water. I just have mine in a cup right here. And some sea salt. Make sure that it's sea salt and not regular table salt. There's a definite difference. Um, and then you're gonna need a spoon as well. So what we're gonna do is take off the cap from our sea salt, or not our sea salt, our jar. And then we're going to take the spoon and spoon some sea salt and make sure that it's um, already grinded up and then we're going to carefully pour some into out oh, oops or not carefully okay so that was one scoop and you're gonna keep going until you have about three-fourths of the way full um, of your salt. Okay, so once your jar is about three-fourths of the way full we're going to take our water and pour in the water so that the rest of the jar is full So now our water is about filled to this first line right here. If you guys can see that. So it's not filled all the way to the top. And you're going to let it sit with the cap open for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Hello old setup. Have you guys missed it? Not. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and take my sea salt scrub. Now it looks like this. If there's any excess water that had been lying on top, just go ahead and pour that out and then it should be perfectly fine. It's okay if it's a little watery. Um, and I'm just going to be taking this little spatula right here. You can use your finger, does not matter at all. And I'm just going to be taking a little bit and applying it to all of my blemishes. You can apply this all over your face if you want to, if you have a lot of acne all over your face. Um, just applying it all over is going to be perfectly fine. If you want to make it more of like a facial, um, a little bit more moisturizing, but you can still set it on there, kind of like a mask. Um, you can add a little bit of olive oil to this mixture instead, but um, just for those blemish spot treatments, you can just go ahead and use this. So I have, I don't know if you can really see it, the camera doesn't pick up blemishes as well, um, which is kind of a good thing, but for this, you kind of want them to show. Um, but I'm going to be applying this right here is where I have a blemish. And then I have one right here. And then right here, as you can see I get blemishes or I have blemishes at the moment all on this side of my face and I feel like it's because I keep sleeping on that side of my face and I haven't been putting my hair in a ponytail which kind of helps that. Um, so yeah, I tend to have a lot of blemishes on this side of my face. Um, and then I have one right up here, just like a small one. Okay, and then a small one, I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah, right there. Let's apply that. And then this right here is actually a mole, but I always like cover it up with concealer because I'm weird. Um, so that's really not anything, but right down here. 
I can apply that. And feel free to apply as much or as little as you want. It really doesn't matter, um, just as long as you have some on there. So I'm going to go ahead and wait about 5 to 10 minutes. If you want to wait even like 15 minutes, that's perfectly fine. It doesn't really matter, but this is going to help it just kind of act as an astringent. Because I'm using it as just a blemish treatment, I'm just going to be keeping this on for about 5 to 10 minutes, more leaning towards the 10 minutes because I just like to go for the full 10. Um, but I will be right back after 10 minutes, so see you guys soon. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes, and as you can see, um, the sea salt is a lot more prominent on my face right now. You can definitely see where I've applied it. And then you're going to go in with a washcloth, and you can um, put warm water on it or hot water. Just make sure it's warm um, and then you're going to just gently scrub off the um, sea salt from your face. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I just finished washing my face and then you're going to want to follow up with a moisturizer. Um, the one that I like is the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. This is kind of like a gel cream, um, but really any moisturizer that you have and use on a daily basis. It also acts as a really good exfoliator if you put it all over your face, the sea salt scrub, so it's going to be a really good tip if you want to use that as an exfoliator. I've heard it's like the best um, kind of exfoliator out there because it's natural and it's really good at reducing redness and everything like that. So I hope this helps you guys for those of you who are prone to breakouts and um, you know don't want them before school starts to get rid of them quickly. Um, using this on kind of a nightly basis or daily basis whenever you want to do it is really going to improve your skin and um, I definitely swear by it. I've been using it for a month or so now and I really do like it so um, I'm just gonna keep up with this and hopefully it keeps continuing um, making my skin clear and everything like that I hope this helps you guys if you are having that problem let me know if you've tried it and everything like that post video responses and anything below um, so yeah I hope this helps you guys and until next time I'll see you guys later bye